Investors 89.1 Alexa from the station that impart you. I'm Miss Nanka. My name is Miss Nanka Khwale. And I love you. Welcome to Alex FM and the town that DJ Nanki loves, Alexandra, a suburb of Johannesburg in South Africa. You are enjoying yourself, of course. So just stay tuned. This month, Nanki's listeners will be playing host to what's billed as the biggest international conference this century, the World Summit on Sustainable Development. South Africa welcoming over 60,000 people to debate nothing less than the future of the planet. We want to host the summit because we want to work towards the eradication of poverty in the world. We want to make sure that uh, our common destiny takes into account the well-being of everyone, uh, of the whole of humanity, and that's what is important for all of us and for South Africa. South Africa's guests won't have to look far for the kind of poverty the summit's meant to eradicate. Just take a tour around the streets of Alex and talk to the people who live there. We're living in a, in a bad situation. The environment is all bad. 50 people living in one yard, it's all a bad experience at all. And sharing the toilet and using the same drain, wherever, doing washing dishes and everything, it's a bad experience for everybody, like health-wise and all those things. We don't have even a tree for a shade. We don't have a green grass, so the uh, environment in Alexander is a disaster. Even a green grass, it's a privilege to live in a house that there is a green grass. Because since I was born, I never have a green grass in my yard. Growing up in Alex, a bad environment with the danger of social breakdown. Definitely growing up in Johannesburg is not an easy thing. First of all, you, you know, you, you need a lot of family and the community support, not to get drawn into, for example, antisocial behavior. So you find that the crime rate, for example, in Johannesburg is, 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 is very high, not because the people of Johannesburg or the youth of Johannesburg are bad people, but because of this environment in which they are growing up. Let us take education. Many people advocate education, but they forget that shelter is the basis for good education. If a kid has been sleeping in a room with eight other people, so even the night was uncomfortable, how do you expect a child to pay attention in school? Because health depends on where you live. You know, so for the whole question of slum life, therefore, becomes almost a vicious circle. What could the summit do for people like those in Alexandria? You know, I think this summit uh, is really going to boost a lot of uh, and, and unleash a lot of energies for those people who are already looking at what they can do to really take development into their hands. And I think that for me is a very positive thing because there's lots of energy in the world to do something about poverty eradication. And if our leader, political leadership can give a very clear direction and very clear guide, the, the whole world will embrace that program. While the summit's being hosted by the South Africans, its political program has been drawn up by the United Nations, who dubbed it the Sustainable Development Summit. But just what is sustainable development? Sustainable development is integrated development. It is where you build a societal approach which is owned locally, uh, where uh, there is a reason for it to happen, uh, where trees are perceived as being of value to the community, uh, not something that you cut down uh, just to get wood, uh, where cleanliness, where uh, dealing with uh, degradation of an environment is seen by the people as affecting their health, as affecting their possibilities. I believe sustainable development means uh, a development in which uh, there is much greater equity than there is in today's form of development, much greater uh, emphasis on maintaining the environment and the resource base, and much greater emphasis on an economic development that basically meets the needs of the poorest. Simply, if you want to look at it in business terms, it's like running the Earth as Earth Incorporated with a depreciation, amortization, and maintenance account, which simply means ensuring that you, you the, through the production process, we do not destroy the underlying assets which continued uh, development depends on. Sustainable development